Well, this year marks the eighth season at Yellow Tree Theater in Osseo. They kick it off with the first of four shows beginning this weekend. Neil Persley has more in today's Weekend Showcase. Sunday night. It was just this time of year. It was the beginning of August. Dancing at Lunasa was written in 1990 by Brian Friel, set in August of 1936 in the fictional town of Ballybeg, Ireland. The, the play centers around five unmarried adult sisters living together and is narrated by an adult character named Michael, who is the son of the youngest sister, Christina. However, the play takes place in the past when Michael was a young boy. Jerry Evans, Chrissy. Michael Lee plays Michael's absentee father and Christina's love interest, Jerry Evans. Jerry Evans showing up just sort of causes upheaval every time he comes back to town. How have you been the past six months? Thirteen months. Thirteen? Never. That's an enjoyable thing to walk on stage with a little bit of a, a circus going on around you. Oh, did you remember me? Rose has the sweetest face I've ever seen. There. Rachel Weber sparkles as the second youngest sister, Rose. Friel describes her as simple. What Rose lacks in intellectual complexity, Weber makes up for by displaying a beautiful innocence and a character with refreshing, uncomplicated sincerity. Weber does a marvelous job through expression as well as action. The show itself, I think, is written beautifully. You, it's a treat as an actor to read any script and think and and realize that the words are going to come easily out of your mouth. Not to be overlooked is Marconi, the radio, the quirky contraption that seems to have a mind of its own when it wants to work or not. But without it, there'd be no music, and with no music, there'd be no dancing. <laughs> And these are characters who, no matter what life is thrown at them, are finding the good in it. For We Can Showcase, I'm Neil Persley, 12 News. Dancing in Lunasa runs through October 11th at the Yellow Tree Theater in Osseo. Mike looks like a good time. They're having a lot of fun, and you know, the audience is so close right there, it's going to, it's got to catch.